At Reclaim, we've been working to bring smarter scheduling to people looking to better plan a work week around all of the things that are most important to them. One thing we've learned in this process is that the challenge of scheduling isn't a math problem, but really comes down to a negotiation and trade-off for how we can prioritize our time around the things that matter most. Today, more than ever, busy professionals just don't have enough time in the week to get everything done. Beyond even just work events, this also goes for our personal priorities, the routines that we wanna make time for, the focus time we want to defend to work on our tasks, and even how we prioritize our meetings during the work week. Our vision for the future of calendars is being able to build out a work week that is adapted to your unique priorities by knowing what's important to you, what's less important to you, and being able to automatically create those trade-offs so you can schedule a productive weekly plan around everything you need to do, but also leverage automation when it comes to deprioritizing for the things that are more important. This is the first step in a long journey of realizing this vision. We wanted to give users a universal way to prioritize everything on their calendar by allowing you to set a priority level for both reclaimed smart events like tasks, habits, smart one-on-ones and scheduling links, as well as non-reclaimed created events like team meetings created in Google Calendar so that everyone can drive smarter scheduling for their calendars. We're so excited you're here. Let's take a look at how reclaim priorities work. We're excited to introduce a new, more powerful prioritization model that gives you even more control over your schedule. With priorities, you can take control of all the events on your calendar, both Reclaim created smart events and non-Reclaim events like meetings created in Google Calendar, to automatically build out a productive, time-blocked plan around what's most important every week. Reclaim's prioritization model lets you tag everything on your calendar to a priority tier from P1, most critical, to P4, lowest priority. Based on the priority level of your habits, tasks, smart one-on-ones, and scheduling links, Reclaim auto-schedules your calendar around the things that are most important. Here's how the priority levels work. P1, most critical. Reclaim will schedule P1 items before any other events and can overbook lower priority items as your calendar books up. High priority events, P2, will be prioritized before P3 and P4 events, but can be overbooked by P1 events. Medium priority, P3 events, will be prioritized before P4 events and can be overbooked by P1 and P2 events. Lowest priority, P4 events, will be prioritized after all P1, P2, and P3 events around your availability and can be overbooked by higher priority items. Reclaim's priorities are designed to be flexible and adaptable as your schedule changes. Let's take a look at how you can manage your priorities in the app. You can see an overview of your priorities in the planner in the right side menu under each of the four priority levels and sorted by feature category. Each of your Reclaim events will be tagged with a priority level indicated by the bar icon to the right. You can change the priority of that event by clicking on the icon and setting a new priority or by dragging and dropping the event into a different priority level. You can also manage your priorities in a side-by-side -side overview from the priorities page. Just like in the planner, you can click the bar icon to set a new priority for the event or drag and drop to reprioritize or by setting the priority in the edits page of existing or new smart events. So how does prioritization work in context? For example, your P1 habits will schedule before P2, P3, and P4 habits, as well as lower priority tasks and smart one-on-ones. If your smart events have the same priority level, Reclaim will prioritize scheduling your smart one-on-ones first, tasks second, and habits third. To avoid awkward scheduling snafus with your important meetings, meetings booked via scheduling links will never be overbooked by any other smart events that Reclaim schedules, like tasks, habits, smart one-on-ones, even if those are marked as P1 events. You can edit the priority level of your scheduling links by clicking the bar icon in the top right corner of your individual links, or by setting the priority in the edits page of existing or new scheduling links. Managing your task list with priorities allows you to make sure you're dedicating your time and focus every week to the most important items on your to-do list. Just like with your other Reclaim events, you can edit the priority level for your existing tasks by clicking on the bar icon on individual task items, or from the edits page of your existing tasks. You can also set the priority level in the task creator when creating new tasks. By default, all new tasks will be set to P2, high priority. You can update this at any time to adapt as your priorities change. You can view and manage your tasks from the planner right side menu in the tab next to priorities. Here you can override priority tags for a select few tasks you want to work on next by adding them to the up next field. This gives you more control over your near-term schedule as your priorities evolve and make quick adjustments for current urgencies without having to edit your entire task list. Up next tasks will be prioritized in the listed order you sort them. 
As for tasks synced via Reclaim's task integrations, these will automatically map the priority levels in Reclaim to the priority you marked in your project management apps. One of the most powerful upgrades to Reclaim's prioritization system is that you can now also prioritize non-Reclaim created events, like recurring internal team meetings or stand-ups created in Google Calendar, to open up more time for your most important events in your schedule. You can set the priority of a non-Reclaim event on your calendar by going to the planner and clicking on the event you want to adjust the priority level for. All non-Reclaim events will be marked at critical P1 by default, so they will never be overbooked by Reclaim unless you manually change their priority level. You can turn down the priority level for the events you'd be comfortable overbooking for a higher priority scheduling link meeting to create more availability. Your non-Reclaim events manually set to a lower priority level can only be overbooked by a higher priority scheduling link meeting. They will not be overscheduled by habits, tasks, or smart one-on-ones. This capability offers you more power over your calendar without interference. We can't wait to hear what you think of the new priorities. Check out the description for more information around how the new prioritization system at Reclaim works, and feel free to leave a comment or reach out to our support team with any questions or feedback. Happy scheduling!